I'm Eric Grazout, and I'm the Associate Director of Client Services at the McIntyre School of Commerce at the University of Virginia. The McIntyre School of Commerce is the primarily undergraduate business school at the University of Virginia. We were founded in 1921. We have about 1,100 students, uh, mostly undergraduate students, but we do have five master's programs as well, and we support about 175 faculty and staff. One of the reasons that we wanted to look at uh, virtual desktops in the cloud is simply a matter of capacity. The school continues to add more students, continues to add more programs. We're growing, and we don't have the physical space, we don't have the financial resources to just continue adding rows and rows of workstations to our physical computer labs. Moving desktops to a virtualized environment gives us a lot more flexibility to scale up and down to meet the needs of our students. Our computer labs are at capacity. They're very um, competitive. There's a scramble to book them at the beginning of each semester. Some faculty insist that they have to have the students sitting in front of workstations and following along with the instructions that are being given. Using a virtual desktops product like Workspaces gives this, those faculty the freedom to just book a regular classroom without workstations and ask students to bring their own laptops. But it gives all the students an even playing field. All of the students are using the same hardware. Everybody has an identical virtual machine. So nobody has an advantage, no one student has an advantage over another student, which is really important to us. A virtual desktop product became a necessity when we launched our master's degree in business analytics last year. That program is based in Roslyn, Virginia, about two hours away from the University of Virginia grounds. And so while those students are welcome to come to UVA and use our physical computer labs, they're probably not going to just because of geography. So we needed to have a way to give them the software, the analytical tools they needed in a virtualized environment. Scalability was a huge concern for us. We wanted to be able to scale our workspace and environment up or down depending on the enrollment. You know, that tends to fluctuate a little bit, so we wanted to be able to move those numbers up or down as the student load required. And then the pricing model for us is very attractive. We did look at some other vendors in this space, but we found that Amazon's pricing was the most attractive. The idea of this pay-as-you-go model, you know, using the auto-stop running mode in workspaces specifically, we only pay for the hours that the students are actually using the service. When they're not using the service, we're not paying for those hours. That's very attractive to us.